Hi there. So first of all, I'm excited to see you all here in this Oracle Apps DBA training. And we are on module one, where we are going to look at architecture and overview of Oracle eBusiness Suite R12 and in specific R12.2. We'll also cover something related to the previous versions that is 11i or R12.0 and 12.1. But before we start this lesson, I once again thank you very much for choosing K21 Academy. Before we proceed on what we are going to cover in this module and in this entire training, let me first introduce myself. My name is Atul Kumar. I'm an Oracle Ace since 2006. Um, I have 16 plus years of experience. I started my career as an apps GBA, worked on 11, version 11, then 11i, released 12.0, 12.1, and currently working on 12.2.6. I also work on integration of Oracle applications with other products like Oracle Fusion Middleware, Oracle Identity and Access Management. I'm author of two books and I blog on online apps DBA. Now this entire class or this entire training is divided into the modules and each module will have lessons. So the top level is entire training. The training has modules and in each module we have lessons. So the module one in this training is going to cover architecture, overview and changes in R12.2. Then module two, we are going to look at staging and installation. Once you have gone through the staging and installation and you understand all these things, then you request for machine so that you understand what you're going to do and you can start from day one or whenever you get machine access. Then module three is going to be file system and important files. So once we have installed the Oracle eBusiness Suite, we are going to look at the file system and the important files that you're going to do on day-to-day -day operations or day-to-day -day basis. Then module four is going to be start and stop. How do you start services both on database tier and application tier? Module five is going to be the fusion middleware concept. And this is a bonus which we have added for you, which is because 12.2 has introduced Oracle fusion middleware, which is OHS and WebLogic. So we are going to tell you with respect to Oracle eBusiness Suite R12.2, how does WebLogic behave in 12.2 and how does OHS behaves in 12.2. Now module six is related to patching. And this is one of the most common thing which DBAs do that is patching. And we are going to look at ADOP, which is a application DBA online patching and AD patch, which is a previous version and then O patch for database. Then module seven is going to be AD utility, other AD utility or application DBA utility that is AD admin, AD splice, AD config, etc. Then module eight is going to be auto config, which is basically reconfiguring Oracle eBusiness suite. Or if you make any changes, how do you ensure that it's applied across the system. Then module nine is going to be cloning and that's another important thing which apps DBS do is clone the EBS from production to test or from one environment to another. Then module 10 is going to be password management, changing the schema password, changing the end user password, changing the database normal passwords. Then module 11 is going to be concurrent manager. This is another thing which usually DBAs do is check concurrent managers are working fine and there's no problem with that. Then module 12 is going to be troubleshooting and module 13 is going to be overview of advanced. We are not going to cover in detail about these advanced topics, but something which you should know. So cover enough to tell you that there's something like that and you don't have to, I, if you're fairly new to apps GBA, I suggest you just have the understanding and then learn on these advanced topics later but at least have an understanding like what is DMZ, what are multiple high availability, rack, other things. Then module 14 is going to be upgrade high level overview again. Now we have a separate course for upgrade. So if you're fairly new to apps DBA, then this particular module is going to be helpful. Again, we are going to cover high level overview of how to upgrade. But if you want to take your career of apps DBA to next level, once you're clear with apps DBA, then you see how to upgrade apps or e-business suite from previous versions to R12.2.5 or 12.2.6, whatever is the latest at that time. So that we have a separate course, but in this module, we are going to cover high level overview. So this is entire course. Now each course, as I said, is divided into modules. So the first module, which is architecture 
and concepts this is what we are going to cover in this module so in that module the topic or lessons are first of all we'll start with what are task of apps dbas then we'll cover a little bit history about how oracle e business suite started and what are the various release patch numbers or releases or major releases in apps dba for a oracle e business suite then again one more thing i use different terms sometimes i use apps sometimes use ebs sometimes i use e business suite sometimes i use oracle applications these terms are used interchangeably these mean more or less same which is oracle e business suite that is for different guys or different person says differently and i'll be using these words interchangeably so when i say ebs e business suite applications apps it's one or more same thing then we'll look at the three tier architecture that is client tier application tier and then the database tier then in application tier we'll look at forms another service so forms can be implemented in two ways forms in servlet mode and forms in socket mode so we'll cover the difference between these two then we'll look at concurrent processing and then architecture difference pro from previous version and then we'll look at briefly about fusion middleware concept we as i said there will be a dedicated separate module here we'll give you high level overview then we'll look at java versus system component mm -hmm. and then after that we'll look at fusion middleware homes then admin and managed server so these are generic fusion middleware home and admin and managed servers and in separate module we are going to look at how they now tied in ebs 12.2 then we we'll look at web logic console and the data source in web logic console so i know it's extensive but don't worry about it go with the open mind read or watch this video a couple of times so that you understand and then if something is not clear make a note of of your doubt and we'll cover in our doubt removal session when the course begin so let's start with the module 1 where we start with the basic concepts of oracle e business suite are you guys excited just say with me yes i'm excited and just open and just learn it with open heart try to repeat or try to listen it couple of times while traveling while in gym while walking or in bus or train and um, i can assure you if you watch it couple of times if you come to the doubt removal session if you do the hands on there's no way anyone can stop you from becoming a good or expert apps gpa i've put in my heart and soul in this particular program and i'm very passionate about teaching and training and sharing knowledge which you'll see so once again thank you for choosing k21 let's begin okay so let's first thing is what exactly is oracle e business suite so e business suite as i said earlier different guys talk about different names some say oracle e business suite some says ebs some says oracle applications some says apps or applications in a nutshell it's nothing but an integrated business application so there are various app business applications they are tightly integrated and built as an erp so it consists of enterprise resource planning you can plan your enterprise resources then also human resource management system hrms or human capital management hcm these days then you have customer relationship management so how do you make relationship with your customer how do you keep track of your customers and interaction with them so customer relationship management then you have supply chain management or when you're delivering goods in an enterprise to big warehouses or to the business to business or business to customer or clients supply chain management financial management in terms of purchasing or general ledger this then advanced procurement or service management or project portfolio management so these are various applications and this is just to name a few now each of these business application might have some modules so all these combined together makes an oracle e business suite now when you buy or when a customer buy or implement an e business suite they might have one or more modules implemented so when you install and configure everything that gets installed but when you configure then you decide which modules based on these you want to implement or customer would like to implement 
So as a role of apps DBA, you will install, but functional guys who have functionality knowledge, how does financial work or how does CRM work? How does supply chain management works? So those guys will do the functional configuration. You as an app CBA will install that. So this is Oracle eBusiness Suite. Now let's quickly cover apps DBA task and I'll explain these tasks in the next lesson. But the role of apps DBA is going to be installation, patching, cloning, startup shutdown, managing the technology stack, which I mean is WebLogic server, Oracle HTTP server, database, forms and reports, concurrent manager. Then you'll be doing troubleshooting, Registering custom application again, I'm going to do a separate module on this. How do you register custom application and what it means later and then password management and managing the concurrent request. Now there's another role which is sysadmin role which I'll cover that in next lesson. So these are common roles and responsibilities. Now I'll quickly walk you through about how does the login of eBusiness Suite R12.2 looks like and then we'll elaborate on all these lessons or all this entire module in my next lesson. So let's have a look at how does the Oracle eBusiness Suite login look like and what happens when you log in, how does the landing page look like? So I'm on my browser and I type HTTP my EBS host name, which is EBS01 and the port number of eBusiness Suite, which is Oracle, which is 8011 I hit enter now the Oracle eBusiness suite is deployed on the cloud and I have connection from my machine to the cloud and if you notice here this is my Oracle eBusiness suite hostname which is ebs01.k21technologies.com again you don't try it will not work for you because you don't have VPN connectivity yet and you don't have the name resolution for ebs01.k21 technologies yet then colon 8011 what exactly is this is this is the web listener port what exactly is web listener what will cover that in the subsequent modules but you type the host name and port number of the EBS and it redirected me to the login page which is OA underscore HTML and apps local login dot GSP how these are coming from where these are being served again we'll cover that in upcoming modules then you type a username so by default when you install you get a or during installation, we'll see you create some super user and which is going to be sysadmin. Now there's a login assistant, which means I, if I forget my name, I can click help on here. If I'm again, there's a register here, which is if someone wants to register, depending on the configuration, we may or may not allow registration of users here. So hit login and there are below. So my login failed. So there may be, I'm not used password correctly and hit enter there are below accessibility functionality which i'll cover that later so if once i enter as sysadmin and password of sysadmin i've logged in now to ohtml apps local login.jsp which will cover that later again so you're now landed on a oracle application jsp page there's something called as top level diagnostic logging is turned on and this is because we have enabled logging in one of the troubleshooting modules you can disable that this warning is because when my logging is enabled it's going to have some performance impact and that's what is the warning here now on the left hand side what you see is the navigator and that's how these are called as responsibilities or roles or entitlements that user have access to i've logged in as sysadmin and what i can do is i can go to one of the functionality and try accessing. So these are different. You see, this is here CRM, customer relationship management. There's a mobile applications like that, depending on what I've implemented and what I have access to, I might have more responsibilities or more list of things here. And I will simply go. So this is my landing page. And there are two types of applications which we'll see in upcoming lessons. There is a self-service or there's a HTML based and forms. So what you see right now, let's suppose my managing schedule, everything is going via HTML page. Then Oracle application also has some form based application. So this is an HTML. Everything is via HTTP protocol and on my browser itself. Let me go back and open a form based application. So you see what the form based application means. 
again we are going to cover that in our upcoming lessons so i'll go to system administrator and i will go to maybe let's assume security and creating a user screen so we'll say security users or define a user now if you see it has opened a forms frm servlet what is doing is it's going to the form server and it's it is opening a servlet and a applet and a form again what is a form applet what is a form what what exactly i'm talking about you will come to that understanding by the time you finish this module now in order for me to open form i need to have a browser which with java enabled and with java plugin configured i'm using chrome and i have disabled java in this so i'm going to open on from my machine i'm using mac so i'll open safari and i'll show you the form how does form opening look like from safari so let me go to safari and open this form how does it look like okay so what i wanted to show you now i am on safari and i've logged into oracle e business suite and since we see this warning low level diagnostic logging is turned on i thought i'll disable that and you disable it via profile option and that profile option is visible from the forms and so i thought i'll take that opportunity to show you so you go to system administrator and then from there you come to profile and look at system level profile option now when you do that it's opening a new form called forms servlet and that is the form we were we are going to look at in upcoming lessons and modules and there is a button say click to use java hit enter and say would you like to use java on this particular browser you say yes use every time and now i'm getting a warning so let me close this again and go back and click profile option again because earlier there was a warning and i clicked on that link now i have enabled browser or java on this safari browser it's going to open a form for me now first time it's going to take a little bit longer time it's going to download all the files from the server and again as i said don't worry if you're not getting it we'll cover that in upcoming lessons and i'm saying do you want to run this application this application is running or oracle e business it is running an applet and that is inside a java virtual machine on the browser again java virtual machine on the browser you is saying it's a warning saying this application publisher of this application is unknown you say yes i accept the risk and click run again the same one more time this you accept it click run again you have to do these only once now in production environment you don't even have to do these uh, these are already set by administrator on the browser of users if they are opening form based application now if you see it's opening a developer forms on that so let me bring it within window and it has now opened a form so this is a form and this is what i wanted to show you so there are two type of application which is an html based application and a form based application what these applications are and what are different functionalities will come to that in the next lesson so this completes lesson 1 of module 1 for oracle e business suite apps dba training i'll see you in next lesson